Is that you, Fedora Bill? It is, my girl. How are you today? I was wondering if I could suck your dick. Oh, but of course. Please, please. No. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. How does my acorn taste, bitch? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, my sweet smoke is all over your face. Uh, now, now let me see your pussy. Come, come, step, get, bitch. Oh, oh God, God. too much, too much, dick sucking. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Is Hello? that you, Jim? What's going on? Jim, it's not what it looks like. She was sucking my dick. Skank. No. Jim, you get the front, I'll get the back. Hey guys, it's Yase. Shorter hair, even shorter dick. Did you guys try to replace me with puppets? Yase don't play that. Last week on the Rebel Gaming Club, we all went fishing. AAA swam the lake, Aroc showed us how to handle the sinkers, and Jordan was a terrible student to no one's surprise. Hey. hey. Rebel Gaming Club! Bitch, get back to sucking my dick! Rebel Gaming Club! Rebel Gaming Club! Rebel Gaming Club Wars Pickup, episode 42! 42! You hear that? Show your medallion! Medallion. For you, Mr. Lindsay, the medallion is the medallion is still on Osvaldo's neck. If you guys didn't know, we got him from Denim, and now he's officially in the RGC. Yeah. I'm in. Don't act so fucking excited, Oz. Guys, so we just hit our 500 subscribers. That was pretty awesome, right? On top of that, we're a month away from going to too many games. Month? It's a month away at this point, guys. That's awesome, dude. We are so excited to, to hang out. Keith Apicary is going to be there. Do you know For who real? that is? For real? For real. I'm going to be there, man. I'm going to be there. It's going to be a good time. Anyways, we got a lot of pickups this week. Move it on over. Move it there. Tell you home, fam. Hey, good hey. to see you. Good to see you. Hey. Hey. Good to hey, see you guys. It's good to see you. You're new. You're new. You're like. Where are you guys been? We've been on vacation, Holmes. We've been vac we champion now. We've been on vacation. We were drinking tequila. Medelo. Te oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, tecate. Oh. Uh, coquina. <laughs> but, oh. Oh. <laughs> the the heroin too. But anyways. We watched the last episode. We need Awful. some quality control, okay? We, we came because you guys suck right now. Sheet's terrible. Sheet's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you, fucking Rian, fucking Jordan, you all shit. Fuck all them. Oh shit, triple, triple gay. Fuck triple, still, fuck triple gay. Fuck him. Anyways. So what are you guys doing? You're just, you're here to watch the show and make sure it doesn't suck? Yeah, exactly what we're going to do. We're going to supervise new, right there. Hey, new guy, make it good. So easy, you want to take easy. a seat. Yes. Right there. You're going to watch the whole episode. Come on, let's take a seat. Let's take a seat. That's me. Well, do me a favor. You keep it down while me and Osvaldo. Alright? We do what we want! Los grande amigos! Hey, hey, chill out, man. Let's, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. taking out the hair being skin. Okay. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, it's going to be good. Okay. That shit's crazy. Ugh. Those guys are whack. Hey, we Osvaldo. can still hear you, cunt. Osvaldo, we got a package in the mail. We got a package? 
Marcus. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Marcus. I got you. Oh, no. Oh, shit. So Marcus, over at Retro Game Players, sent us a package. And he sent some hats. Yeah. Yeah. That's real. That is, that's legit shit right there. there was yeah, four that's of, real. There was four of up. them. There was four of them, but... The other two have been claimed. This is mine. This is yours. That's mine. Hey, just, can we put it over that one? Hey, fuck that. Give me that, Holmes. No, no. No, no, no. That's mine now. That's, that's a good hat. That's yeah, good it's hat. good. It's good. Made in Mexico. It's quality. Yes. Well, Marcus, that's going back there. Thank you for the hats. Uh, he also sent this box of random, uh, random goodness. Sent these uh, pencils, these Batman pencils. Yeah, I'm keeping some. There better be video games in there, man. Fucking He sent this, uh, I don't even know what, scary, scary monsters. Scary. Some sort of, uh, Jim Henson. Oh, Jim I don't Henson. even know what that is. Oh, Henson, he good. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, he sent this wireless, uh, GameCube controller. Oh, I gotta, oh, I gotta, yeah. I gotta find the back for it. That's cause, a cool color. But it does have its, uh, doggle. That's nice. really awesome. Yeah, hey, Hey. We got this marijuana wallet. Hey, give that up. Um, yeah. You want that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Smoke that cheech. We got this. We got this button. Don't waste time reading buttons. Yeah. That's <laughs> oh, that's a button. That's clever. Why we, put, we can put that on you, yeah. us. Uh, we got this thing here. I don't. What is this? Do we know? I can't fucking see. Is that a Beyblade? <laughs> no, no, no Beyblade. <laughs> It's just a wheel. <laughs> Marcus sent some uh, some cards, his, yeah. his, uh, his business cards. So I want to put that back there. That's going on the mirror next to Captain Retros. He sent these Elvis keychains. There's two of these. Elvis. Elvis. Oh, we got we got yeah. a copy of this um, this Joe Montana's NFL football. She's a little bit rough, but that don't matter. That don't free matter. Free, free, homie. Free matter. is free. And we got a, a couple uh, Star Wars figures. Oh, episode one. Episode one. Yeah. Phantom Menace. Oh. Yeah. And uh, we got we got some candy. Whoa. Candy. Eat some candy. Oh, Mexican candy. Phoenix. Uh, he sent. So so he does music as well, Oz. For real? Yep, he does. And he uh, he sent he sent some CDs. This is uh, I guess it, he just goes with his name. Yeah, M. Lyot, Lyotta, M. Lyotta. M. Lyotta. Is that is that how? He, M. Lyotta. Because it's, it's it's Marcus. M. Loiter. M. Lyotta. Yeah. Lyotta. So I listened to that. Pretty good indie rock kind of uh, lo-fi goodness with a sci-fi kind of twist. And he also sent his record. Oh. He's not fucking around, guys. Oh, she, he handsome. You print up a record, you know you mean fucking business. So thank you so much, Marcus. That's awesome that you sent these. And uh, I haven't listened to the record yet. I listened to the CD. I'm digging it. I'm excited to hear what you've done on this. Hey, let's get to the fucking games, man. Yep, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Marquis. Yeah, you cool, but fuck, we need some games. Yo, you got that gang? Yo, you know I do, baby. Trades. 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 We got some trades. Guys. AIDS. AIDS? No, we ain't got AIDS. No. We got trades. Hey. You want AIDS? This first package is from the Viking Gamer. The Viking Gamer. His name's Eric. Eric. Shout Eric's out. a good dude. I sent him some stuff. And he sent me Star Wars, The Clone Wars, on the GameCube. That's cool. Yep. Yeah, see a that, game. That's a good game. And Donkey Kong Classics on the NES. Donkey Kong Classics. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That could be alright, but it could be shitty. I mean, it's the classic, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next trade is uh, a friend of the channel, Ryan Morgan, and he's from Oregon as well. Oh, Wait, yeah. you telling me this motherfucker from Oregon? Last name Morgan? 
That's what I'm saying. First up, he uh, he sent me this NCAA basketball box for the Super Nintendo. She's a little beat up, but you know what? It doesn't matter. You put the protective shell on there. She's gonna look good as new. Still very nice. Hey, can I have that? No, motherfucker. I'm getting that. Hey, hey, motherfucker. Watch the accent, beach. Sorry. You sorry. fucking racist. I'm sorry. I'm. Give sorry. me the fucking box, bro. All right, give All right, him the fucking the box. box. Take the box. The phoenix gonna rise out your ass. We got Legends of Wrestling from from Ryan. Man, he fucking that game sucks. Yeah, we played that. It was awful. We played that on vacation. That game fucking awful. You tell me this game sucks. I'm Van Damme in it though. That's cool. All yeah, right. His geeks are like, what I got? I've I've never played it, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, don't. Another game I've never played on the GameCube is The Haunted Mansion. Eddie Murphy. Oh, the Murphy. Rest in peace, Charlie. I see that movie. It's weird. You see Monster House a lot, guys, but you don't see the Haunted Mansion. It's very true. That movie good. I like that movie a lot, man. Yeah, so Ryan, thank you for the, for the Morgan game. Morgan for Morgan. Thank you. Mor <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is comedy. I like it. That's good, Serpentino. Yes. Hey. Hey. That over there, boo. Shut the fuck up, Holmes. This hurts my head. Show me your titties. Oh, hey, look, guys, we're talking uh, video games. I mean, this isn't a video game per se, but it's some sort of uh, super skeet arcade. This shit fires on the wall, and oh, you... I skeet all the time. <laughs> oh. This is from 99, guys. This is a classic 99? piece of shit. You shoot it on the wall? Oh, well, yeah, it goes on the wall, and then you shoot it. No way. That's you guys cool. maybe want to shoot later? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, sounds yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool, man. That's cool. Welcome to the first annual Rebel Gaming Club Comedy Competition. Tonight we have three up and coming comedians. First up, this man's been making me laugh for years. He's a veteran of the, the comedy stage. Jowren! Hey y'all, how are we doing tonight? Good. Hey, your mama's so fat. She needs cheat codes for We Fit. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. Your mama's also so fat. She went looking for Carmen San Diego and she done found her in her chins. <laughs> that one's great. Your mama's so dumb. She bought tickets for Xbox Live. <laughs> Get out the park. I'm wacky in this motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, Ryan, come set me off up here, baby. Come on. Come on, get it up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo! Yeah. Hey, y'all, thanks, yeah. thanks, y'all, thanks, y'all. Good night. Good job, good job, good job. Come on, y'all. Another round of applause for Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Fuck yeah. And up next, the bad boy, Chef Burry, the burrow. Pas Delgado, a.k.a. Osvaldo. Whoa. Get it! On it. Get up here. Hey. 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 The Phantom Menace. Boo! That was fucking shit, man. You don't think that's funny? <laughs> <laughs> I lied. It was actually good. All right. Good job, Oz. If I was to get a vote, you can bet your ass Osvaldo would get it. He's just the cutest little guy. Put that knife away. Alright, guys, another round of applause for Oz. Yeah, yeah. You better do it. Got a knife. Alright, guys, up next, the elder statesman of the group. The man with the most talent, I would say. Everyone, uh, welcome Dan to the stage. Woo! 
Hello people, the RGC viewers at home, I'm going to tell you a little story. So yesterday, I was sitting playing some SimCity, I was having a great time. I just had breakfast and there was a disaster, an earthquake. And then I hear my little niece. She comes down the stairs. She looks at me and she says, Uncle DJ, what are you playing? And I say, Shut the fuck up, bitch, and get back up those fucking stairs! I'm playing Simpson! Get the fuck up there! <laughs> and then I kept playing SimCity. And I had a really nice time. Thank you guys. Thank you. Oh, that was a great joke. Alright guys. So, I need you to vote. So leave your comments down below. Let us know who won. It's a hard choice. Three great comedians. Let's see who's going to win this first annual Rebel Gaming Club Comedy Championship. Let's go back to episode one, Rebel Gaming Club. I told a story. I was, well, I was working at KB Toys, and uh, my manager just hit me up recently. He was going through his storage unit. And he oh, really? found some stuff in the unit and asked if I wanted it. I said, yes, I did want it. First up, he, we got this Star Wars wrapping paper from 1983. Oh, shit. That's kind of cool, Oz. That's really cool. I, that is dope. Yeah, That's beant. That and, and he said he had some posters he found from KB Toys when we were working there. Tell me that, guys. Is that not cool? I yeah. respect the man that steals. <laughs> so we got we got some posters. I'm gonna show you. Let's. Uh, oh, that's Donkey Kong. We oh got this my boy. Donkey Kong 64. That's huge. Hopefully you guys can see it. We'll, we'll back up a little bit here. Yeah, that's good. And that's it's like vinyl material. Yeah, look at those bananas. It looks like you're gonna rape a banana. This one's going directly into the collection. Yeah. This is the the one I really really wanted when I saw it. Uh, I've been fucking rolling. Man, what the fuck? You don't even know how to roll. You're down with it, man. Oh, next up. Oh. Yeah. We got this. Tomb Raider 2. Oh, oh those titties! Fucking Diggle Hold it, hold it. Talk. Oh, I can't fucking see, but damn. Guys, this one's up for trade. If any of you guys out there are big Tomb Raider fans. Titty, titty, bang, bang. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? Oh. Give me a boner. <laughs> a boner, man. Oh. This guy is also up for trade. Tekken 3. It's Tekken 3. That's What's cool. Tekken 3? It's a fighting game. It's a fighting game. Hey man, should we show some gameplay or that's, something? That's Gene. Oh, no one wants to see Tekken 3 gameplay. Everybody hey, motherfucker. Oh, no. oh, okay, gameplay. Here we go. Yeah, that was shitty. Sorry. You see that fucking key? Yeah. And we also, we got two of these, so if you guys are interested in one of these, let me know. And this is a Final Fantasy VII poster, promotional. This thing is massive. That thing's fucking cool, man. That is dope as fuck. So you guys let me know if you're interested. All those were hanging up at the KB Toys that I worked at, uh, well, while I was working there, because that was all circa 97, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Tom, thank you so much for hooking that up. I appreciate it. 
Thanks. And when I was out thrifting the other day, I found this KB Toys Rocks Feel the Soul CD. What the fuck is that? This is from 98 and I don't I don't remember this at all. So maybe that was after I stopped working there. I wasn't born in high school. Didn't steal that, did you motherfucker? No, I didn't steal that. Oh! How's it going? Uh, sometimes when I'm in between editing sessions, I'll just kick back and listen to these jokers. Apparently right now they're talking about KB Toys. Now, I've always wondered what happened to KB Toys, like why they went out of business and shit. And this day and age, only an idiot is content to wonder. So let's find out. Founded in 1922 by brothers Harry and Joseph Kaufman, KB Toys initially operated 605 stores in 44 U.S. states, as well as Puerto Rico and Guam. It was privately held in Pittsburgh, Massachusetts, and it was owned by the Melville Corporation, who also were responsible for bringing us KFC. God bless you saints among men. Unfortunately, they sold it to Consolidated Stores in 1996. Some of you guys might remember back in 2001 at select Sears department stores across the country during the Christmas season, KB Toys would open store within a store locations where they would set up shop and temporarily sell toys for the holiday season. Before they went out of business, KB Toys operated three very distinct different formats of stores. You had plain old KB Toys, KB Toy Works, which was a result of a partnership between them and the Toy Works, and then you had KB Toys Outlets. Uh, the KB Toy stores were mostly found in the company's traditional base of shopping malls, where many of its stores were located for years. KB Toy Works were typically found in outdoor strip malls, and the KB Toys outlets and toy liquidator stores were pretty much found in malls as well. Over its lifetime, KB Toys used three different slogans. America's Toy Store, which is obviously the classic slogan. Hot We Got at KB, which is obviously their hip 90s slogan from when they were really doing some boom in business. And the Toy Store in the Mall, which is their slogan from later years where they had clearly given up. In 2007, KB Toys closed 156 stores, leaving the chain with 1,144 stores total. At the height of their operation, they operated 1,300 stores across all 50 continental United States. After their second bankruptcy in five years, KB Toys began going out of business sales in December of 2008, which was a sad time indeed. The store closing sales, as well as the termination of the company's website and the official death of KB Toys is cited as being February 9th, 2009. The brand does survive in a way, though, as far as its ownership by Toys R Us. They own a lot of the intellectual properties that KB Toys used to own, as well as they do own the logo. And they do release, you know, like in-house manufactured toys sometimes that are released under the KB Classics brand. Which does warm my heart a little bit that even Toys R Us realizes that even as a brand, KB is something that we would like to have in our lives, you know? So if you want, you could go out and get, you know, KB Classics brand toys. At the time of its demise, KB Toys was the second oldest toy distributor in the country uh, behind only FAO Schwartz. Better part of a hundred years these guys contributed to our childhood, so... While it is gone forever, KB Toys will never be forgotten. Uh, thrift, thrift shopping this week. We found a few items. Where the fuck are the games? <laughs> I'm coming with the games. Where are the so, games at? So out it thrifting. Chill out, man. For five bucks, I got this Superman, the Man of Steel. This is a Xbox exclusive. Oh, that cool. You ever play that, Oz? Yeah. Do you know that game? Superman, yeah, I play that game. Bullshit. It's good. It's good. Sounds like he's fucking lying. You a liar. For $1.75, I found this Pac-Man World Rally. Oh, any, you need that. Well, no, I need it on the GameCube. So if any of you guys out there need this on the PS2, I'll, I'll give it to you. Um, okay. And we also, for 50 cents, found this Super Mario Sunshine strategy guide. Oh, that's mean. Oh, besides that's the good. big fucking tear. It does, it does have a little tear there, but other than that, it's in pretty nice condition. It's very thin. It is very thin. I play this game. Not a lot of strategy in it. Oz played oh. that. <laughs> Me, Daniel. Got him. Hey, Holmes, front on camera. Hold on. Did Phoenix get his ass up here? No. Uh, hey, Osvaldo, you chill out. Oh. oh. I push for you. Since you pushed for me, I will push for you. Oh. 
Alright guys, for the final pickup, I uh, I ordered something off GameStop. I had some credit. Credit? Yeah. Credit, yeah. Yeah, credit, yeah, I had some credit. I got zero. And uh <laughs> I, it came with this uh, sweet poster, which you probably can't see with the lighting, but it, it's, uh, what, what do they call that? That's Aztec, man. That's Incan. Don't fucking correct me. Hey. You, you hold that off. Who's got the knife, man? Who's got the knife? Who's got the belt? So with the, the GameStop credit, I got Fire Emblem Echoes. Man, it looks like a good book. Dude, that shit look crazy, man. Yep, this comes with the, the button set, it has the art book, it has the soundtrack, and... Yo, look at that bitch's DDs. Oh, DDs. For a while, this wasn't... It, they put it up for like an hour, it sold out, and then it was reposted, so I'm not sure how many more they printed up. My guess is they probably printed a ton because that, how, that's how it works. I buy collector stuff, and it's the stuff that you can find, you know, forever. That's and, dope AF, though. Yeah, yeah it's, it's gorgeous, right? How that, much? That was nice. 60 bucks. Oh, that worth 60 bucks. But I, I traded I traded a bunch of Call of Duties in for it, so it's worth it. It was worth it. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Are you gonna open it? Uh, no, God no. Call of Duty! <laughs> Call of Duty. Hey thanks man, I can't do that the mask. Fuck, we gotta go. We like, we've been here too long. Yeah, it was a good episode, guys. We're losing our buzz. You, oh, you guys gonna get high? Yeah, yeah well, we fuck, we didn't bring no coquina. No, yeah, coca Do You want some coquina? Yeah. What? Mi delo. Jose. Tequero? Yeah. Well, guys, all right. Well, it was really nice having you here and yeah, making sure yeah. that we were in line this yeah, week. Hey, man, you guys did good. good, you did good. You did good. good. Don't touch me, body. Holmes. Champ. When we run out of cocaine, we'll come back. Yeah, let's go get some heroin. Yeah, man, let's get it. So Los Grandes Amigos, aka the Fat Friends, have been doing drugs. They think that's really cool. I'm here to tell you that, in fact, that is pretty cool. Hashtag the champ is on drugs. Well, I guess that will, uh, that's going to wrap up this week's episode, guys. Yeah. That, that was it. I mean, I showed you some stuff. It was kind of random stuff. Uh, I'm still going for my GameCube set, guys. I'm about 50 away now, I believe. Uh, I'm going to leave in the comments some of the titles that I'm looking for. Let's do some trades. It's a lot of common filler crap. If you guys can help me with that, that'd be awesome. Uh, besides that, we'll see you guys, some of you guys, at Too Many Games in a month. We'll be hanging out all weekend. And... What? Comment, yeah. subscribe, like this. and share. You share. I share. I'll share. Hey, you're new. You fucking share everything. I'll share. Share your sister. Oh, your sister's bushy. Why was Pac-Man angry? Because Miss Pac-Man was on the pill. Uh, Donkey Kong Country. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs>